If you clicked on this video, then you want a hassle-free way to start your seeds indoors. And I've got a hack for you. I've seen this hack multiple places before. I've never tried it myself. Oh no. <laughs> okay, don't play with them. I've never tried it myself, but I'm going to try now. So, you take eggs and you crack them whenever you use them at the top and then take the top part off put it in your compost or whatever you do with your eggs rinse them out clean them out I just kept them in the egg carton that they were in it'll be easier for me to transport the seeds outside whenever I start to get them used to their elements I've also got a handy dandy sewing kit here just for the needle some dirt and my seeds. Now I'm not starting everything by seed. I'm just starting my tomatoes and cucumbers by seed because those are our favorite things out of our garden that we grow. And let's be honest, if you saw that video of a store-bought versus homegrown tomato, there's clearly a difference. And so we're ready to get our vegetables back. I have my needle here. I'm going to attempt to poke a hole in the bottom of this egg. Okay, well that works. What I almost did was put my finger in the egg to give it some support and then I would have poked my finger. So please don't do that. This isn't working. It worked with the first one, I think, because I dropped it and I cracked the bottom of it. But I just want a small hole so that they don't get saturated with water and the water has nowhere to escape to. I think that one's not working. Oh, it works. Don't tell Patrick I did that. And I definitely don't remember recommend doing it that way and probably would be best with a tiny pin or something right after you crack them instead of having them dry out if you don't want to mess in your house of dirt don't do what I just did and fill them up in there If you save your eggshells, it gives your plants more calcium and they're biodegradable and you save money because most everyone already has eggs at their home. Instead of buying new biodegradable cups or using plastic like we've used before when we started our seeds, this seems like an easier way. Then you don't have to push them out of the holes and make sure you don't destroy any of the roots. You can just put the whole thing right into the ground and it will act as nutrients for your plant as well, which is pretty cool. You're okay, Flex? I'm Flex. Will you put um, some of those in that one? Yeah. This one? This one. Right now we have a little dirt over them. Yep. This is a great <laughs> idea. Uh, however, it got really, really, however, it got cold. And so it killed some of them that I had out most of them some of the tomatoes here survived so i'm going to plant those in the garden space patrick said i can't have plants inside because ants came inside with the plants and he didn't like that 
I mean, who likes ants in the house? Nobody. But I was sad that my plants had to suffer because of it. So what do you do? This is a great thing. You just dig a hole, pop this in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two since they're more leggy and then I'm going to just plant this one into the ground. Maybe enough. I need my Because I'm gonna put these eggs in the ground. Uh, Here, go. Put that away. What? You? Yep. So, cover it up, cover the eggshell up, and I like to cover part of the stem too, so that way it won't get too leggy. And that's how you start your seeds indoors in an eggshell if your husband doesn't make you throw out your plants due to the ants. So, like, subscribe, comment, share. Phoebe's going nuts over this ball. And I gotta get a gate to keep her out of here. No. No. You're not gonna ruin my plants. And you're getting a bath. <laughs>